Hi students, welcome to your online computer class. In the previous classes, we discuss our first chapter. Okay, first chapter, history of computers. We complete that chapter and today onwards we are starting the second chapter, input and output devices. You all know input devices and output devices, right? Computer, our computer works on the principle of input process and output, IPO cycle. A computer will work in the principle of input, process and output. What is input? Data or instruction feed into the computer. What are the instructions or data that you give into the computer is called input. What is process? To work done by computer on the input. What are the input you give to the computer? That will be process. That is called process. Okay. Second one is output. Sorry, third one is output. To the result, output refers to the result produced by the computer. What is the result produced by the computer is called output. This process, the series of input process and output operation is called IPO cycle. Okay, first we can see input devices. What is input devices? The device that is used to enter data and instructions into the computer is called input devices. Then we can see some of the input devices, keyboard, mouse, trackball, joystick, scanner, etc. are some of the input devices. First one is keyboard. What is keyboard? It is most commonly used input devices. It is used to enter data or instructions into the computer. Which are the commonly used uh, keyboards? Ergonomic keyboard and gaming keyboard. Okay. This is about keyboard. Keyboard has many keys. By pressing one, nine, one by one, we can enter the data into the computer. That is keyboard. Next one is mouse. Mouse is the most common input device used with graphical user interface. You all know the structure or the uh, this or you are familiar with mouse. Mouse has two buttons in, in the left button and right button and there is a scroll wheel. And with the help of this mouse we can move the pointer on the screen. We can draw pictures, give commands to the computer, select an item from the monitor screen. All these are uh, we can easily done with help of mouse. Next one is trackball. What is trackball? Trackball is also similar with mouse. It has a ball on its surface. That can be rolled with fingers to move the point on the screen. We can, there is a ball in the top of that. You can see in the picture, the, uh, we can move, that, move, move this ball with the help of our fingers. Okay, next one is joystick. Just with the help of, uh, it's all, this is also an input device. We can play games by using joystick. It has buttons to control various actions in the game. This is also known as game controller. Joystick, or joystick is also known as game controller. Next one is scanner. Scanner means we can scan the documents such as photographs, pages of text and we can convert them to digital images. Okay, commonly used scanners are Flatbed scanner, sheet fed scanner, handheld scanner. These are the commonly used scanners. Next one is barcode reader. Barcode reader, uh, in when you go to market, there you can see this barcode reader. Okay, while we can, uh, in billing section, we can see this barcode reader. There is a pattern of parallel lines of variety of varying thing thickness that store coded information. Barcodes can be seen on many products such as books or packed food items or stationers. Whatever you buy from the supermarket, there you can see a straight line of parallel lines of varying thickness. Okay, that is read, that is, that is a stored information. So to read that information, we use barcode readers. Next one is light pen. Light pen is a input device. It is a pen shaped input device. We can write something using this light pen. Okay, in the monitor screen. It has a great, greater position accuracy than the mouse. That uh, we can select or point an ob object using this light pen. Next is stylus. Stylus is also a pen shaped input device used to work with touch enabled device. It enables you to select options, enter text and give commands. Next one is microphone. Microphone 
is used to record voice music or sound into the computer okay we can voice uh, we, by using microphone we can voice chat we can uh, perform voice chat also using this microphone next one is webcam webcam is an input device connected to the computer to capture still and live videos for live videos we are using webcam okay for uh, video conferencing or video chatting also we can use webcams next one is graphics tablet graphics tablet is an input device it's a flat surface that consists of a flat surface on which user writes or draw using stylus that, that we can draw draw pictures in a flat surface that will be captured to the computer okay it is commonly used in capture handwritten signatures by an and by artists to make sketches to make sketches to make to make drawings they all use graphics tablet so these are the some of the input devices so dear students please go through these portions okay see you in the next class bye thank you